It's one of those precious ecosystems that we just take for granted. And you'll see people walking through it and riding motorbikes through it, but they don't realise how vulnerable it really is. It's obvious that the level of damage that's occurred here to this fragile ecosystem and, and how easily that can occur. And I, I don't know whether people really understand the impact that that has not just on the physical environment that we're standing in here, but also on our marine environment and, and affects juvenile fish and how that can impact valued recreational activities like fishing. Just by driving your motorbike in the wrong area can impact on that whole system. Salt marsh is actually the largest contributor to fish nurseries. The small mud crabs that live in the salt marshes, they let their zoa go at the high tides, uh, particularly the spring tide each month. And the little fish that swim in out of the tidal creeks at that time double their weight in a single tidal cycle before they head back out to the shelter of the mangroves and to the seagrass meadows offshore. Cow's Landing Sanctuary Zone is um, an ideal living classroom because of the range of habitats we have here and the connection with, of the ocean with the land. With the uh, Year 9 Salt Marsh project, we decided to shift the focus of the work that we were doing out to the Cowles Landing Sanctuary Zone. As a sanctuary zone, it's um, not respected and appreciated as much as it should be by the local community. And we thought if we can get young people out here and learn about it, they would start to value the area and we could address some of the um, problems that we've got out here. We think activities happening in the sanctuary zone that shouldn't be happening, illegal fishing, dumping of rubbish, off-road vehicle damage to the salt marshes and that sort of thing. It worked really well with one school, so why not open it right up and get more schools involved out here? To teach the importance of the areas that we have around Wyala and the work that has been done at local schools here, the private schools and public schools, and what the NRM have been doing has actually been fundamental to changing kids' perspective around their environment. Salt marsh mudflats are important to our fishery as that um, is a major part of our juvenile habitat. Uh, the prawns life cycle basically works in that the adult um, prawns spawn out in the deeper water. The spawn then washes into the shallows where the larvae develops in these mudflat regions before the juvenile stock moves back out into the deeper water. Many people believe that our fishery is just out in the middle of the Gulf, but we consider these inshore zones just as much a part of our fishery as our harvesting grounds. The Spence Gulf prawn industry is a substantial contributor to both, uh, both economically and socially to the Spence Gulf region. And there's a, actually a really big group of people in our community who are directly affected by some microscopic larvae washing around in the mudflats of the Spencer Gulf. Marine parks and sanctuary zones can be a really effective tool to looking after specific habitats in the right areas. Um, as well as requiring further management um, to assist those systems to work. Cowlitz Landing Sanctuary Zone is important um, because it, it protects some specific habitat for us. My absolute dream with the Salt Marsh Project would be to see uh, my students play a pivotal role in monitoring this environment and caring for this environment, um, taking over a, a role of stewardship in this space and caring for it. Some of the really rewarding moments for me has been uh, students being able to identify plants or birds after coming out here and working with um, some of the NRAP guys, so that's been really special. It's really important for people to understand that the marine environment is not an isolated environment, nor is the land. The two are connected, and um, what happens on the land can have a direct impact on what happens in the sea and nowhere is this more evident than in our coastal fringes. It's important for the younger generations to understand that what they do in their everyday lives can have real impact on the coastal environment and, uh, and therefore people's livelihoods. As custodians of the Gulf, we have a real responsibility to look after these areas. Just come, visit, sit, spend some time there. To learn more about samphires of the Eyre Peninsula, contact your local natural resource centre for this booklet.